Hi, my name is Sandra Bergman, founder of the Passion Institute. Welcome. These three videos are excerpts from the Passion Warrior Conscious Leadership Program. It's an online leadership program with live elements and the selection um, option of VIP mentoring alongside the program. So if you're interested in taking the full program, I would love to have you. You can go to our website, www.thepassioninstitute.com for more information. When we don't do what we want to do, it's pretty high likelihood, 99.9% .9 likelihood, I would say, that it's a shadow standing in your way, or in our way. So what is the shadow? The shadow is a learned behavior based on shame. So it typically comes from our upbringing, so our family, our teachers, our education system, our society, but very, very high likelihood that it came from our family structure where we were shamed for certain behaviors. So certain parts of who we were were shamed. So what we did was internalize that that part of ourselves was not good. It was not loving. It was not kind. It wasn't, it wasn't accepted. So we suppress those parts of ourselves. And then we, you know, really focused our energy and time on all the behaviors that were approved. So we got out of balance. You know, if you, now I have shared with you guys that uh, being egotistical and choosing uh, my own needs was shamed in my family. So if we take that example, um, you're not allowed to choose yourself, but you are really approved of choosing other people's needs and supporting other people's needs. So your behavior around pleasing and servicing other people and, you know, you get really good at that. But to take care of and understand your own needs and, and your own, you know, your own inner workings and what you need and take care of that and speak up and be assertive in terms of your needs, that's totally repressed. So you're really out of balance and that's, you know, really not a way to create a life of passion and purpose, certainly, and not stepping in, you can't step into your leadership skills when, when you live in that off balance. So the pleaser um, addiction that so many people have is, is really a skill to unlearn. It really, really very important. So what type of character traits could be shamed in our families, or in your own upbringing and, and education? Some of them, just to give you an idea, um, your light, your power, strength, your feelings, your vulnerability, your, your selfishness, your anger, boldness, playfulness, um, self-promoting, intellect, wisdom, um, being independent or being needy, being greedy, being serious, being messy, being lazy. You know, so that all sorts of skills that can be shamed and are shamed. And it really depends on the structure of your parents, for example, or your teachers, what they learned was good and, and what they learned was bad. So if you were really shining your light and their light was repressed and shamed as they were growing up, they will do the same to you. So it's really passed on. That's how pain patterns is passed on from generation to generation. And in order to stop that, we need to know that all behaviors are good. Meaning, yes, there's a good and a bad to each behavior because when it's out of line, then it's not good. But when you have access to it, there's goodness in every behavior. We actually need every behavior to be conscious leaders um, living from passion and purpose. Um, that's not a free card to be an asshole. <laughs> that's, that's when you need to be, you know, when you need to set boundaries and be assertive, you know that, you know what, I have that skill. I have that skill and I'm going to engage in it in this specific situation and I'm going to do it this way to set a boundary because otherwise I'm going to run off track here and that's not the direction I want to go in. So at the base of all of these behaviors is, you know, really an internalization that I'm not lovable, I'm not good enough, I'm not acceptable as I am. And what happens is that we run around 
as half people. You know, we're not complete whole people. So the premise of shadow work is that we would rather be whole than be good. So, you know, the good, meaning we are perfect people, that's not, there's no freedom found in that. We want to be whole people and have access to all the different behaviors, all the different characteristics, so we can pull them in when we need them. So the next module is focused on integrating light, light and dark shadows. So we'll go into detail a lot more with this topic, and I absolutely love this topic. Um, I'm not sure if all of you know, but I am a certified shadow facilitator, which is why I know this um, very intricately. I was so fortunate to be trained by one of the three people in the world that were granted um, permission to t continue teaching Debbie Ford's, uh, the Ford Institute's shadow process and shadow work. Uh, Debbie passed away a couple years ago. And in Scandinavia, Pernilla Nilsdal is one of the three in the world that can teach this. I was very fortunate to, to practice with her. So now I get, gave a little example about myself and how that pleaser role can take over hand if you don't have access to being selfish. You know, so when you're in balance, you can, you can access the self-care and the self-love place. But when you're not and you're constantly in that pleaser, then you're out of balance and you're not effective and you will not be able to choose your own dream. Another example I wanted to share with you is a client of mine who is based in Spain. So what she has learned specifically, um, just to hone in on one characteristic, is that being playful was not good. She was not allowed to be playful. So when you see how she developed, extremely, extraordinarily intelligent, very studious, has an amazing education, um, very driven, very ambitious, um, but also, you know, so she developed the other side, the non-playful side, right? She's extremely good at that side, but she doesn't have so much access to the playfulness. So the type of life that you create for yourself when you, when you have this inherent understanding and belief that life needs to be serious, it's, you create a really difficult life. You know, everything is a serious, hard, draining, you know, you can just feel that. So, and so for her, her process is beautiful and she's integrating the playful side more and more and she's become quite good at it and it's beautiful to see. And what happens is that you know, we don't forego the intellectual side and the serious side and the taking ourselves seriously and, and our vision and drive, but we, we, when we can access that from a place where we also have access to playfulness and, you know, approach things from a light place, life becomes so much more interesting and delicious. You know, it's the, mm, it's the juiciness of life when we can combine those two. And conscious leaders, they play. They, have, they work hard and they play. They really bring playfulness and a sense of wonder and curiosity into every aspect of their career and their life. So what the premise here is that um, what Penila Mielsen, my teacher, likes to say is that so we, if we have a buffet, let's, let's take a really nice, delicious Scandinavian um, buffet with delicious foods. Um, and, you know, you have everything from the desserts to the delicious fruits and the lunches, you know, the different lunch dishes and meats and vegetables and, and dinner, entrees, etc. You have the full buffet. So if, you're, if you learned that being a pleaser, that was your lot in life, you can play in the dessert section. Be the good girl, be the pleaser. You have all the desserts to choose from. Well, now tiramisu and banana split and whatever else is there um, is not necessarily bad, but when that's all you have and all the other things on the buffet you don't have access to, that's a very, very limited small box that you've, you've been put in and that ultimately as grown-ups we are allowing ourselves to still stay in that box, that confinement. So shadow work is about saying, I want access to this full buffet so I can create a rich, rich life for myself. Um, I just love that visual. You know, for me, it's like, oh, it sounds.
sounds so delicious, having access to the full buffet and then you can pick and choose rather than be in this narrow section. So to work with the shadows, there, you know, again, I'll go into it in more detail in the next module, but I want to just tell you the process here. The first is awareness that there is a shadow that we're repressing. The second is to see what you lose out on by not having access to that specific personality trait. So for me, seeing that I don't have access to a, with being egotistical and what does that really mean in my life when I, it was so for me, it was like, wow, that's the worst thing and I absolutely hated egotistical people. I got so triggered by them. And when I then started to really see, well, the goodness in being egotistical is that I can choose myself. You know, I can set boundaries. I can say no to other people's needs. I can start living the life, like my life, the way I want it. Um, I can start to generate really beautiful, healthy relationships through those boundaries because I no longer attract toxic people that can get all their needs filled when you, when you do, you know, when you are a pleaser, that's what you run into. Um, so seeing the goodness in even a behavior you think is bad, because, you know, seeing that egoism was really my way, my doorway to a balanced, good, healthy life was quite extraordinary for me. It really was not something I had seen coming. And then wanting to change. Now, wanting to change really requires typically that we're not enough pain. We're in enough pain. We're experiencing enough disconnection from ourselves that we want to change because changing is work and often it's hard work. So taking you know, step four is to take conscious action to change. So that means, you know, integrating in shadow work, integrating a specific behavior. And often we don't just have one behavior. There's a really slew and gamut of behaviors. So it's an ongoing process. It never ends, but we get more and more refined and